Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, your guide to every item, trinket, boss, uh, concept, floor, and dilio in the Binding of Isaac <laughs> series of video games. I'm Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is my time f- f- cuck buddy, Will Hughes. Wow. Yep, that's me. I'm a real... You said, you said don't um, think, just do. So I mean, yeah, that's true. That was my advice to you immediately before <laughs> we hit record, was don't um, think, just do. And when I do, it's time for cuck, for cuck buddy. And that's fitting, because Gary, what item are we talking about today? The Basement Collection's own time for cuck. <laughs> <laughs> nope, uh, we're talking about Steven. Yeah, who is from the game Time for Cuck, an earlier mm-hmm. game by Edmund McMillan. Mm-hmm. From 2009, developed on Flash. Uh, Steven is an item in this game that is good. Will, can you walk me through what Steven does? All right, hold on tight, folks, because it's going to be a bumpy one. Steven grants plus one damage up. There it is. Yep, never going to say no to that. Mm-mm. DPS is king. DPS is king. I like this item quite a bit, and it is rare. Yeah, I mean, it mostly only, like, this is saying it's, it's I know, item, right? Like, Wiki says it's item pools yep. only from Steven. That That's is wrong. not, I believe, yeah. accurate. It can also be dropped from golden chests. You know what else the uh, the Wiki says? Is yeah. DLC page extension error colon unexpected slash operator. <laughs> yeah, you get that too, buddy. Column expression yeah. error unexpected less than operator. Line expression error colon unexpected less than operator. So, I Gary, can like... I talk? Gary, that's really good. That's a great line. Can I give you a line? Yeah. yeah. So, this is also uh, Wiki said it best. Okay. Uh, DLC with a line through it. Open parentheses page expression error colon unexpected slash operator period <laughs> comma column expression error colon unexpected less than sign operator period comma line expression error colon unexpected less than sign operator period close parentheses. Well, is this what it feels like to be time for cucked? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, we've been it's ta- meta. Is this a meta? meta. Yeah, is this a meta thing? Is Jerry, we found col- the ARG. <laughs> like I was going to say, is this the ARG? <laughs> um, the- <laughs> Like finally, we figured it out. Um, somebody has ARG the ARGers. Who oh. args the Argonauts? Oh, Ooh, the Argonauts is a good name for like an ARG. I I assure you, it's been used. Yeah, I guess that's true. Not, I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just man, you know, it'd be who... a good name for a baseball team, the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh wow! Yeah, they get those little robins on their shirt. Not the Archies. The Archies also would be a good name for a for a oh. good like or a band. Yeah, I was going to say, you know what would be a great name for, like, a red-headed comic book protagonist? Who's that? Jughead. Uh, they, should have, they should probably time fuck out those two and, and swap them around. Well, I, Gary, I you guarantee say the that. new are version aware, does Gary, that. Gary, are you aware of the existence of the comic book Jughead's Time Patrol? <laughs> this yes. Is... No, of course not. Like, <laughs> Gary, this is an absolutely real Archie's comic product mm-hmm. in which Jughead... Becomes a time cop and That's... has to like patrol time because Archie comics are secretly like the coolest fucking thing on the planet. That's 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 real far. I know they do weirder stuff than you expect. Coolest fucking thing on the planet's a lot though. Uh, relative, I guess. It's Jughead's time yeah. police, not Jughead's time patrol. Okay, thank you. The um, yeah, I uh, they're cooler than you'd ever think they would be. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That which that is which is me, that like, reels I... back in my hyperbole. I would assume they'd be like Dennis the Menace level, you know, like this is, this is just like, oh, like they're, they're hanging out and drinking malts. Yeah. That's Gary, what they I'm do. staring at a Wikipedia page right now and I'm not clicking it out of deference to you, but it is called alternate universes in Archie comics. <laughs> the, uh, well, I know <laughs> they, they go to the, they know there's a zombie uh, thing and I know there's a, like uh Punisher kills the Archie universe comic yep. as well. Like, uh, you know, um, he, uh, Archie, however, does not go to the binding of Isaac universe which is the subject of this podcast kingdom king of the segways i'm going back baby it's been i guess it's we should probably talk about this it's been a long time since we recorded man oh yeah it's been like a month yeah that's a lot for us sounds like we really bricked our switches we're it's back baby yeah you've listened to the demands someone was it's, complaining on slack yeah, today finally some episodes have come out so now we can actually course correct so when you hear <laughs> this in several months you'll know that we listened to you now in pre-taped call-in show fashion. Um, yeah, we're, we're like, it's like a tantric podcasting situation we got going on. Mm. Where we just podcast very consistently and thoroughly uh, and then take a long break. Oh, 
I don't know. I'm if trying to make those part. yoga noises, not sex noises. Yeah. I was trying to make yogurt noises and not sex noises. Yogurt's largely silent. If you got, if you got that kind of yogurt, man. I do. That, that's, that's the that's the kind of yogurt I like. Fruit on the bottom, squelchy on top. <laughs> Fruit on the top, the bottom, sentient on top. <laughs> Fruit on the bottom. <laughs> recognize our rights. Yeah, on top. yeah, yeah. Uh, Self governance on top. So, in the um, interest of being slightly on topic, mm-hmm. I get, there's not a ton to say about Stephen. Uh, just well, like it does. How you get it is interesting. Sure. Uh, it like, is typically only dropped. Through expression by... error, colon, unexpected, slash operator. <laughs> <There you> no. <know. laughs> Don't rule of threes that one. It takes too long. <laughs> um, no, you, I mean, so typically it comes from a rare boss. So much so that most of the Wikipedia is this really <laughs> asinine way of getting it. <laughs> like, really long-winded, yeah. Yeah. Um, which cause it, So the, the boss, uh, Stephen, is the boss we're talking about. Who nine times out of ten drops little Steven. Mm-hmm. Uh, little Steven, which we'll talk about eventually. Familiar. We'll get to him. We don't want to burn cast on him. But he has a small chance of dropping this instead. Uh, and the, the Wikipedia here has really, really complex instructions for essentially just kind of holding, you know, doing a Zazel and really hoping you get that boss. Yeah. But it's presented as like a ten step process. So... Uh, once you actually get Steven, uh, it puts a little extra head on top of Isaac's head, which is what mm-hmm. Steven is in Time Fakuk. He's a lump yes. uh, on the protagonist's head that slowly grows a face and starts talking to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Time Fakuk is a game that makes almost no sense. but I, Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't just, think there's a secret message. I think it just... It's just a lot of weird ideas being thrown at the wall. Uh, yeah. But Steven is cute. The um, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Steven. I like little Steven, actually, like both as a cute thing. And I think it's a it's a probably a solid like B minus C plus familiar. He's fine. Gary, don't um, burn cast. I, I'm, I'm Gary, thou shalt we're, not burn cast. I know. We're just talking about Steven. But I'm just talking about Steven. Hey, yeah, um, we're just talking about Steven. Hi. Every once in a while, I, and we should probably have made this a, a, a segment uh, at some point. Old Grandpa Gary's Flash Isaac anecdotes. Yeah, pull up a Cracker Barrel. Pull up a Cracker Barrel, have yourself a seat, whittle yourself a seat. Um, back get that in the little fl- peg puzzle. See if you're an ignoramus. Yeah, get, get, yourself, get, get yourself a peg puzzle. Um, play yourself some peggle and some chuzzle. Um, if you, back in the Flash days, it was very strongly rumored around the rumor mill that if you killed the little version of Steven first, the boss, you'd be more likely to get this item. Which and I think we talked Which about make this tons of sense. when we talked about Stephen Proper is what should happen. Absolutely, and that was the rumor. But yeah, all right. You may now put the Cracker Barrel back in the corner. Yeah, uh, take it back to Cracker Barrel. Put it in the Night Return. Exchange uh, it for some summer sausage or some rock candy. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to a Cracker Barrel in a long time, man. I've been in a Cracker Barrel more recently than you might expect. <laughs> Are you recording Which is to this say within the last two years? That's pretty recent. I'm we're recording this a couple of days before I go to Milwaukee for the Midwest Gaming Classic, and last time we went, me and Cole uh, ate an outback steakhouse, steakhouse, and I'm really looking forward to eating this at some like hilarious big chain restaurant. And if there's a Cracker Barrel, we're doing it. Yeah, I mean, as a person who uh, shouldn't eat as much sugar as he does, mm-hmm. outback steakhouse is very appealing. Like a big slab of meat. It was good. Just pure protein and fat. Yeah. All, all the food we ate was like, it was there pretty good. The, uh, when I went back to Illinois, uh, recently on vacation, vacay. there's a place, vacay, um, I, a visit from vacay Rawlings. Um, I, uh, Gary, the, we're going to have to sit for a second. <laughs> you don't like, vac- so you, was, you do or you don't vac- like vacay Rawlings. Yeah. So is vacay Rawlings. I'm assuming this is a JK Rawlings pun mm-hmm. that you were moved to make just because it was a rhyme thing. It was it was me working at Teenage Dirtbags level. Okay. Which is just really like, if it rhymes, go for it. Yeah, if it, if it rhymes, it. do the crimes. Yeah, it's just the, uh, yeah, it just rhymed. That was really it. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you to come up with a popular children's series that V.K. Rawlings created. Oh, uh, Harry Potter got his groove back. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Gary, I have to tangent very briefly. Very okay. briefly, and then we will get back to your story. You realize we're in the middle of a tangent. We're in the middle of a tangent. I know, let's, I know. Let's tangent we're tangent this. paradoxing. Okay. Let's time fuck it. Let's do it. 
Oh, good. Uh, I was at Goodwill once, and I found a book that was clearly self-published, and it was called Cousin Henry Potter and the Terrible Time Machine. <laughs> and it was about Harry Potter's cousin coming to Hogwarts with him, but then, instead of doing any magic shit, there, one of the professors made a time machine, and they used it to go back to watch Bible stories. That's incredible, dude. It you, was you didn't amazing. buy it. I did buy it. Oh, you did buy it. Okay, thank God. Yeah, I, I don't have it now, though, because I gave it away to a friend. But Which is acceptable. Like, as long as you, you know, it's in the family. Okay, tangent over. That's really good, though. The, no, um... Gary, you can't enjoy it anymore. The tangent's done. <laughs> the... Tell your story. <laughs> okay. Um, there used to be a nice restaurant in my hometown called Johnny's Char House, and it got replaced by a place called Texas Roadhouse, which I didn't realize was a chain. Mm -hmm. But I was going there expecting a, uh Outback Steakhouse-style experience, and that is not... Uh, what we got it is the loudest like you know how like a restaurant like I, so you know how there, there's that stat like if you're if you're at a place and they're like oh if you look around a room with 40 people there's a really good chance that two people share the same birthday mm -hmm. this restaurant maybe seated like 60 and we heard the birthday song no less than like 12 <laughs> times <laughs> well gary it's like a 20 percent birthday rate as um, someone who has many times gone to the texas roadhouse uh really yeah Okay. That's where you go in uh, Terre Haute if you don't want to be fancy and go to the Outback. It's a, it's the bad. Outback doesn't have the big thing of peanuts for you, when you're you waiting. Do, yeah, you throw a bunch of peanuts on the it's it's the place where you pollute. You throw a bunch of garbage on the ground. Mm -hmm. Um so you've been you've been you know uh, that my food our food is really bad and we bought drinks and they all came with like a shot of like a a liqueur that you like was in like a test tube that floated in the drink that you're supposed to pour into it to make it more boozy. All right. Like, like a like a shitty boiler maker, like a science yeah, boiler maker, like, like like a boiler maker where like yeah, like a scientist boiler maker. If the scientist only drank like a bit like a hurricane, and then uh, put like triple sec in it, like an extra extra little batch of triple sec in it. Gross. And really that was gross, and that was Stephen. That that's probably about everything we need to know about Stephen. Yeah. Um, even though we didn't say the reason we we dodge around this, the reason why the wiki is wrong is you don't just get this from the boss. You can get it from yellow, golden chests. And it's one of the better items that can pop out of them. It's so good. You want Guppy's head or you want this? Tammy's head is also very good. Yeah. That's it though, because like you get able, that means you fucking stubbed your toe in a metaphorical sense. Yeah. God, uh, I can't wait to trash able. Um, do you have a it. seed for us? Oh Jesus, yeah, Gary. It's like we said, it's been a month. God, mm -hmm. my ASMR voice is going to be just ripped to hell. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Do it for the ASMR gonads. Here we fuck off. Here we go. <laughs> CV for XJL. It's it's a, I thought it's okay. going to be less robust. But uh no. Yeah, it started in the Tom Waits neighborhood mm -hmm. and then it went elsewhere. It's like you chugged a blooming onion, mate. <laughs> before you did, before you did that uh gary if people enjoy this show what should they do uh, you should head on over to um patreon.com slash duck tv uh go over to contact and say hey mr patreon give these guys more money give us and some then, money yeah give us some money Lebowski's. i like that that's my that's my uh we've done that joke before because that's my new catchphrase give us some money <laughs> give me some money it's, it's a really good catchphrase man thank you that's the, um, yeah, and it, it seems like it's a lucrative catchphrase. Lucre focused, certainly. Mm hmm. Because uh, yeah, my, my catchphrase gets me no money. Remind me so. what your catchphrase is, Gary? My name is Gary Butterfield. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But I don't want to give you money. I guess it does give it. me money. But yeah, it, I mean, it indirectly gives me money. But mostly it's just because I've been backwards masking you going, give me some money <laughs> throughout the entire uh, Watch Out for Fireballs history. Um, <laughs> They can also rate and review the show. Um, yeah. You can do it on a Texas Roadhouse uh, Yelp page. You can do it on iTunes. Those Pick are the your two poison. places. Those are the yeah. only two places. Pick your poison. Pick your poison. Um, that's probably about it. Yeah, Gary. Good night. Oh, so, uh, yeah, good night. <laughs>